Welcome back, witches and wizards, to the common room. I'm back, baby. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded any videos to this channel, but I think over the last couple days, if you've been already part of this channel, you've seen that I've been doing some shorts, I'm reviving the channel, I'm coming back, and honestly, I wish I never left, to be completely fair, uh, because I love Harry Potter, and I've still been collecting, even with my hiatus from the channel, but that's all in the past, we're back we're going to move forward. I've got some big plans and some fun stuff to look forward to. And hopefully you guys are here for the journey as well. Uh, but this channel is going to be dedicated mostly to the Harry Potter trading card game. Uh, this game right here. Boom. And, uh, you know, having some... We're going to do some discussions on really cool cards like these. Because if you didn't know, the Harry Potter franchise did have a trading card game made by Wizards of the Coast. The same people that made Magic the Gathering and Pokemon originally. So, um, really good stuff there. There's some rich, deep history in there. I want to go back and take a look at it all and show all the stuff with you. Uh, you know, there's not a lot. If you look on the internet, there's not a lot of things. There's not a lot of research done about the Harry Potter trading card game. Um, there's... A few people out there that have been doing fantastic jobs of, you know, showing some of the stuff and kind of going, um, bringing you back to that era. And one in particular I want to mention is uh, my friend Mona over at Into the Flu. Make sure you guys go sub to her channel as well and watch her stuff. It is fantastic. She's actually got some really cool stuff in the works, like some zines and magazines. Y you guys want to check that stuff out. Um, but I want to try to take a deeper dive into the history of it and kind of see if I could find some stuff about, you know, why the game was made, what they thought, you know, their direction and stuff was, the few years of the Harry Potter trading card game, and then why it stopped, and maybe speculate on the future. Because Harry Potter is kind of, it's not becoming, I don't want to say it's becoming more popular now. But it's it's regaining some of its popularity. Uh, the train is starting to chug now with the Harry Potter franchise because we've got that HBO series coming here very soon. You know, like the next year and a half, two years. And um, we've already had an am amazing, amazing video game in Hogwarts Legacy, which I believe there's actually a second game in the works or at least planned right now. Um, it was it was wildly popular, so I, I don't see why they wouldn't do it. Um, and now the new Quidditch Champion video game, uh, online player game, just dropped as well, which I will be playing and uh, kind of going through as well. But I think with the Harry Potter franchise, they're doing a lot of stuff right now to get back into the spotlight. They're trying to do what Lord of the Rings and Star Wars has recently been doing, by just putting stuff out there, really grabbing people's attention. And I feel like this might be the best and most prime time for Wizards of the Coast and Harry Potter to collaborate once more, bring back the TCG, the trading card game, and revive it. And, uh, you know, there is a lot of interest. A lot of you guys watching are probably from the Harry Potter uh, TCG Revival Discord. And for those of you who aren't, yes, the Harry Potter trading card game is still alive and being played just by fans now. It's not an official product anymore. Uh, but there is a revival Discord for the Harry Potter trading card game. I'll try to link it down below. Um, and they've even done some, uh, a few, I think th three fan-made sets now, I believe. I believe it was three fan-made sets. So they've continued the game and they still play. There's still a community of players out there. And there's lots of people that have stuff in their collection. So it's not really something that is just dead in the water and gone. I truly believe that if Warner Brothers and, um, you know, everybody involved with Harry Potter, if they truly looked at it and they seen kind of like the entertainment space right now, I think they would see that trading cards have been one of the top contenders for like IPs and franchises right now. I mean, look at One Piece. Uh, is blowing up right now because of the trading card game. Disney has Lorcana now. That's a huge thing. Pokemon TCG has never been stronger. Uh, Magic the Gathering has really rebounded in the last year or two. This is just a really good time, in my opinion, for uh, trading card games, right? And we've seen the big boom. 
hopefully we don't have a, another big boom like that in the near future because I don't think my wallet could afford it. But <laughs> I hope that the future of Harry Potter includes a trading card game. And I hope it's a reboot of the classic one because this game is by far my favorite trading card game to play. I really enjoy collecting these. Honestly, I enjoy collecting these as much as I do Pokemon, if not more. Uh, there's just so much fewer of it to collect than Pokemon. So there's just unlimited potential, right, with the trading card game. And I that's what my, my hopes and my goal is to eventually help bring us to a point where maybe they do make a video, or not a video game, a trading card game once again uh, for the Harry Potter trading card game. But we've got it. we've got to build, you know, a, a foundation. We've got to expand the popularity of it. And I think if we get enough people shouting from the rooftops that they want the TCG, or at least saying how much they enjoy the old TCG, then maybe they'll actually consider doing it once again. So... My goal here is to just bring you all of the stuff you didn't know about the trading card game to you guys and just show off all the, the, the beauty of Harry Potter TCG. Because again, the, this is stuff, this was pre-movies. So like these artworks are not designed and based around the movies. This, this is all artwork based off the books, which is true Harry Potter artwork. This is true... Harry Potter form. This is before the Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grant and um, I want to say Hermione was was Emma Emma Watson. Um, this is before their era. So I think that that is just we need to go back to that. We need to revive this game officially. I I truly hope that one day it happens. But until then, this channel will be mostly dedicated to showing off the history and showing off collections and. You know, we'll be doing some deck techs. We'll be doing some gameplay videos. Um, we'll we'll try our hardest to get stuff to do some openings, although I cannot guarantee that because stuff's getting expensive. Um, but we're going to be, we're just going to be doing whatever we can do with the Harry Potter trading card game. That's what this channel is for. That's what it's going to be dedicated for. And um, I'm going to be doing other Harry Potter things as well. It's just going to be, you know, fewer and far between. But I do also want to play the Harry Potter video games, uh, stream them here for you guys, kind of build that community as well. And, you know, maybe just talk, do news and discussion related stuff about Harry Potter in general. Um, I've got a couple buddies that I know really thoroughly enjoy Harry Potter and would love to come on and maybe start like some kind of podcast, not just about the Harry Potter trading card game, but Harry Potter in general. Uh, so I would love to bring all of that to the table and kind of help reinvigorate the space and give it kind of like a, a you know, a jump start and hoping that we can help build this community wildly. And, um, you know, that's that's the goal here. That's the dream. That's the vision. That's what we're we're moving forward to. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to have fun along the way. And, you know, whether 10 people show up, no people show up or thousands of people show up we're gonna be doing this so buckle in um you know make sure you subscribe to the the channel because that's the most important thing and like the videos comment all the good stuff but um get excited for the harry potter tcg that's like the best best thing i could do for anybody is get you guys excited for harry potter tcg and hopefully bring some more excitement that um kind of shows warner brothers that we deserve this game so that's all we have time for today. Thank you guys for your patience over the last few years of not having videos. But man, we've got some good stuff ahead of us. And I'm just, I'm very excited to do all this with you. So thank you very much. We'll see you guys in the next video.